Hello, Mr. Knorr here, and today we're going to make a pencil holder. So I'm going to click the Create New Design button and start off with a fresh workspace. So a typical number two, a yellow pencil, has a diameter of 10.2 millimeters. So we just want to keep that number in mind um, that when you're, when you're cutting holes, they're going to need to be larger than 10.2 millimeters. Uh, otherwise, your pencil is not going to fit. So I'm going to grab a cylinder from the basic shapes and drop it in. And actually, before I even start, let's change the name just so that we can remember and, and keep it organized. So I've got my cylinder, and I'm going to make it a length and width of 13 by 13. And we're going to go a height of, well, let's go 40 millimeters. Something tall enough to hold a pencil, but uh, not too tall that we waste a lot of plastic doing this. And then I'm going to use the duplicate button, so duplicate and repeat, to create a second cylinder, change it to a hole, and then we're going to make it. Remember, it has to be bigger than 10.2, so you could go 10.5 by 10.5. My 3D printer is not as precise as I'd like it to be, so I'm going to go 11 by 11. And then remember, if you select them, you can use the align tool. So let's go ahead and align them. Now, if I were to cut it out right now, it would cut a hole right through the cylinder. And that's not what I want. I don't want a hole going through the cylinder. So what you want to do is, is you want to raise um, what you're going to cut out off the workspace. And that way your pencil will sit right in and there's going to be a bottom inside. So I raise it up. You can see the three right here. That means it lifted up three millimeters. So now if I grab my two shapes, I can group them and that hole will basically cut out and you can see now there's a bottom to it. You can actually change it into a hole and you can see what's going on inside. It's pretty cool. You can see that the pencil will sit right inside of that cylinder. Okay, that's essentially it. Uh, from here you can mess around and, and do a whole variety of things. Uh, if you look at my screen down here you can see I took a whole bunch of them, kind of curved them and turned them into this pretty fun looking shape. Uh, let me just show you how to do something really quick. So I'm going to use this duplicate and repeat. So duplicate, repeat, and we're going to kind of drag it out here until it's sort of, sort of touching. Um, and you can see right here, whoops, let me see if I can get to the top. There we go. So see how right here between the two, there's not a gap, and they're going to fuse together in that, in that 3D printer. And then if you actually hit duplicate and repeat, what it's going to do is it's going to create another one over here. And so it remembers that you moved it and repeated it, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two more of them. Um, actually, three more of them. I'm going to take this last one and I'm going to put it here between these two. And then I'm going to take these three, this group, and I'm actually going to move it just like that. Okay, now I'm going to have to come look because you can kind of see where the color changes a little bit. That's where they're poking through. So I'm actually going to lift it up. And you know what? I'm going to have to change my snap grid to half millimeters to get it a little more precise just so that they're not cutting through each other. And I got to fix this top one too. And here I'll change the color and you can actually see, see how it's poking through the sides. We don't want that. So lift it up and then let's group them all together so that it's one shape. So now I've got one shape and that's a cool pencil holder. Uh, if you're worried about it tipping over, let's add a base. So I'm going to take a cylinder. Uh, I'm just going to make it, let's just go 50 by 50. And then if you remember, our pencils are sitting um, three millimeters high. So we want to change this height to three. Otherwise, it will cut in to where the pencils are sitting. And because I group this shape together, I can now easily use my align tool to align the base with this. So we just go in the middle and we align here. And there we go. I can even group this all together. And I've got myself an awesome little pencil holder that shouldn't tip over because it's got this nice base. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm excited to see what you are able to create.